With barely 24 months left for the electorates to go to the polls in Nigeria, the country's electoral umpire, INEC, which recently announced February 23rd and February 24th, 2023, as the dates for general elections, has received with dismay news of the incessant burning of its offices across the country. With its offices in Abuja, Kano, Kaduna, Eboy, and 10 other places being burned down. Two weeks ago, Enugu came on the news with both INEC offices in the state capital and Udenu local government area being gutted by fire. Like I said, it's an investigation and it's an open thing. Okay, investigation in the end will tell us certainly what could have caused it. And like I mentioned earlier, preliminary investigation suggests that it may have been caused by power surge. Uh, bearing in mind that the building is said not to have had power supply for some time and there was power supply and eventually it led to such, which is part of the suspicion as we speak. We are not ruling out anything. And now, a number of states. Uh, this morning we discovered that um, yes. it was actually an attack, a foid attack. Unknown gunmen had gone there possibly to maybe touch the place, but there was um, security presence and um, the policemen, security operatives were able to repel the attack. And um, the much we know based on a statement by the Commissioner of Police here in Anambra State is that the store at the INEC office there was burnt four other vehicles packed around the premises burnt the inex director for voter education gives an honest view on the situation we are concerned uh, we we are concerned for the 2023 general elections and the particularly the um the anambra you know state governorship election and the commencement of the continuous voter registration Meanwhile, chairman of the commission is pleading with well-meaning Nigerians to safeguard INEC property. The spread of arson and vandalization targeting the commission's facilities and property has become profoundly worrisome. Unfortunately, this has been on the rise since the 2019 general election. The commission will certainly work with the security agencies to deal with the perpetrators of these heinous crimes according to the law. As violence and hostility continues to increase across the country, one thing experts agree is that only a peaceful atmosphere would produce a safe and credible poll. Mary Chinda for News Central.